Hello, my name is Michael Simonson, and I am an Academic Clinician Educator Scholars Fellow and a hospitalist in the Division of General Internal Medicine. And if you'll let me, uh, I'll talk to you about an inpatient perioperative medication management curriculum that we've implemented for the internal medicine residents. Uh, just as a bit of background about this project, uh, in, inappropriate medication management and medication errors prior to surgery can lead to significant patient harm. And decompensated medical conditions are a leading cause of surgical readmissions. Because of this, internists and especially hospitalists are becoming more involved in medical co-management and perioperative uh, medication, medication management interventions at hospitals around the country. Um, perioperative medicine as a specialty is focused on this high-risk time and is a required competency of both ACGME and the ABIM. Further, a survey uh, recently of residency graduates indicated that uh, there's really not enough emphasis on this topic during their training and they feel uncomfortable when they enter the working world. We have implemented uh, a curriculum. It was four weeks long, consisting of one hour per week over four weeks that we delivered to internal medicine residents on their junior hospitals rotation or the medicine consult rotation. Uh, each week we delivered anti um, what you can see is antihypertensives in week one, uh, antihyperglycemics and diabetic medications uh, in week two, and antihemostatics on week three. Uh, week four, we wrapped up and tried to tie all of these topics together. Uh, and we assessed this curriculum using a pre and post survey that consisted of 10 multiple choice questions um, to assess knowledge. Uh, residents took this prior to starting session one, and then they took the post survey after session four. And what you can see on the right side of the poster here is the results of um, knowledge scores on this uh, multiple choice knowledge uh, survey. And the impressive thing is that resident scores improved on average 2.6 points on a 10 point test. Uh, they went from 4.6 to 7.3 uh, from pre to post survey. None of the residents who participated in the curriculum scored lower on the post test. And as a whole, resident satisfaction was high for each of the four sessions, um, with the lowest being anti-hemostatics week three with a 4.5 out of 5 on a 5-point Likert scale. Um, the largest improvements, if we break down the, each of the questions, was in the diabetes and insulin management section, with questions improving by 52%, 56%, and 39%, uh, respectively, for the three questions that address that. Um, so where do we go from here is uh, clearly this curriculum, um, at least in the short term, improved knowledge in residents on perioperative medication management in the topics that we decided to cover. Whether this learning is durable, we need to assess with a delayed survey, which will be done in the next four to six months. The next step would be to uh, take this curriculum and broaden its appeal to other um, settings outside of junior hospitals or medicine consults and get more instructors involved to see if this is something that other institutions could potentially implement. Thanks. Hope you found this interesting.